Good evening, good evening, brothers and sisters. I am Minister John Pickens with Revelational Ministries, and I would like to thank you all for listening and joining us on this Tuesday evening for intercessory prayer. Bless the name of the Lord tonight. Amen. Prayer, brothers and sisters, is extremely important. It is extremely important because it is our communication with the Lord. Uh, we have to remain in constant communication with him because we are constantly, brothers and sisters, going through things each and every single day for which we need his help. The book of James chapter 5 verse 16 tells us that the effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It is always a blessing to be in and a part of the house of the Lord, to be here to be considered amongst the living and not amongst the dead, for there is always something for us to be thankful for. And there is always something for us to give God the glory, praise, and honor that he and only he so richly deserves. And when we learn to do this, brothers and sisters, he will come and make his home with us so that we can experience his fullness and his wholeness. Bless his holy name tonight. Before I go any further, I have to always first begin by giving honor to God and my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, for saving me from my sins and commissioning me to preach his word, which is the gospel the good news of Jesus Christ to his people all around the world. Bless his holy name. Amen. Let us remember to continue to pray for one another, brothers and sisters. Many of you who are in bereavement and mourning, uh, we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ uh, for restoration. We pray for healing for any of you who are sick, family members who are sick. Uh, we will continually keep you, your family members, friends, and loved ones in our prayers to touch and agree right now by faith, uh, that you were healed in the name of Jesus Christ. Tonight's prayer scriptures will be coming from the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4 through 5, which says, For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God, to the pulling down of strongholds and the casting down of imaginations, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Jesus Christ. And also from the book of Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12, which says, For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in the high places. Amen. Let us all pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we come before you tonight, Heavenly Father, to lift you up, to lift up your name, to magnify and glorify your name, which is above every name, the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, you and only you are worthy to be glorified and magnified. Not us, Heavenly Father, as many of us, Lord, we continue to seek after the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. But it is you, Heavenly Father, that is worthy to be praised, not ourselves. Because it is you that has given us life and not ourselves. There is not one single person on this earth out of nine billion people, Heavenly Father, that woke themselves up this Tuesday morning and then will lay themselves down tonight, this Tuesday evening. It is you, Heavenly Father, that gave every star its name. It is you and only you who knows every grain of sand that is on the seashore. It is you and only you who knows how many strands of hair we have on our head. For Heavenly Father, your ways are incomprehensible to us. Of the fact that you know all nine billion people, all of our thoughts, all of our personalities, all of our futures, all of our feelings and emotions and all of our health concerns. You know all uh, how many billions of animals that there are. You know all of the microorganisms. You know, Heavenly Father, how many people used to be alive and how many people will be alive. Only you, Heavenly Father, know these things. Only you, Heavenly Father, knows how many life forms there are on other planets uh, to consider, to conclude, and to include the heavens. And only you, Lord, know how many uh, spirits and beings there are beneath the earth. Only you, Heavenly Father, know of all of these things, for you are omniscient. You are all-knowing. You are omniscient. You are omnipresent. You, Heavenly Father, and you alone, your kingdom shall remain forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. For everything, Heavenly Father, is in your dominion. For your dominion has no end whatsoever. 
we have various territories and provinces and boundaries, but you have no boundary, Heavenly Father. You are eternal. You and you alone shall remain forevermore. Heaven and earth can pass away, but your word, Heavenly Father, your word shall remain forevermore in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you this morning, this evening, for being the Lord our God, because besides you, Heavenly Father, there is no other. There is no other, Heavenly Father, because you are the first and the last, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and the Omega. Heavenly Father, we thank you. We thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, as we give you praise and thanks. This We thank you, Heavenly Father, as we continue to ascend, and we thank you for this fellowship uh, that we are able to convene, to gather here, Heavenly Father, online from all around the world, no matter what country we are in, no matter what nation we are in. No matter what time zone we are in, we gather here tonight, Heavenly Father, to lift up your name, the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord God, thanking you for providing a way for us, Heavenly Father, to inherit eternal life. And there is only one way. There is only one way to the Father, and that is through the Son. And only, Heavenly Father, those that are drawn by the Father, Lord, can come. So we thank you for drawing us, Heavenly Father. We thank you, Heavenly Father, uh, for providing a Savior for us. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for continuing to be our standard bearer, uh, for continuing uh, to provide your everlasting arm, Heavenly Father, so that we can lean upon your ride, Lord, uh, which is eternal. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for saving us from our sins, saving us, Heavenly Father, from our past ways, saving us, Heavenly Father, from ourselves. For we do not know, Heavenly Father, what we are doing. Uh, and it is only because of you, Lord God, that uh, we are able to survive each and every single day. For you are our provider. You are, Heavenly Father, our ultimate protector. Although we may have muscles, Heavenly Father, we may have firearms, we may have all of these things, all of these things, but it is you, Heavenly Father. It is you and you alone who protects us from all hurt, harm, and danger, the seen and the unseen. It is you, Heavenly Father, that gives the doctors and the surgeons and the physicians their abilities to perform medicine. It is you, Heavenly Father, that has provided us the means, Lord God, the means, Heavenly Father, uh, to be able to resist disease, to be able to recuperate, to be able to heal. Uh, for the power of this does not come, Heavenly Father, from magic. The power from these feats does not come from the human mind, uh, not by our power and not by our might but by your spirit, saith the Lord. And we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for your spirit. Heavenly Father, we want to pray tonight for the family unit. We pray, Heavenly Father, that the family unit is strengthened. We pray, Heavenly Father, that the family unit between the man and the woman in the household, Lord God, returns, Heavenly Father, you to the household. Heavenly Father, we have a separation between church and state. But Heavenly Father, we cannot have a separation between family and God. We cannot take you out of the household, Lord God, and pursue our own ambitions to what we believe is right, because this is the world that we are going to get, this or the community that we are going to get. Heavenly Father, we uh, repent of these things, Lord God. We repent of ever believing, Heavenly Father, that we can do anything without you, Lord God. It is you and you alone, Heavenly Father, uh, that can restore our families. It is you and you alone, Heavenly Father, that can heal the relationships heal the marriages. And it takes man and woman, Heavenly Father, submitting themselves to you and your plan and your agenda in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you today. We thank you today, Heavenly Father, for protecting the family unit. We pray, Heavenly Father, for those who have families. We pray for their children. Heavenly Father, we pray protection for the children in the home. But Heavenly Father, we know that the home is the most dangerous place for a child to be because they are constantly undergoing attacks from their own parents. Attacks, Heavenly Father, from predators in the community. Predators inside the family. Heavenly Father, we pray protection for these children. We pray, Heavenly Father, that whoever is harming them, that it continues to be exposed in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord, every scheme, every scheme, Heavenly Father, every scam, every plot, Every network, every organization is exposed for harming these children in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you today. We thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, Lord God, for your guardian angels that you have a watch over them. We pray, Heavenly Father, for all of these children that are lost. Many of them are kidnapped and abducted right now. 
Many of them, Heavenly Father, may never return home. But we pray tonight, Heavenly Father, for a radical rescue. We pray tonight, Heavenly Father, for a miraculous rescue. One, Heavenly Father, uh, for which the history books would not be able to contain. We pray that these children are rescued in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over every amber alert that is going out. We pray over every silver alert, Heavenly Father, that is going out where people are wandering away from their homes due to mental conditions, due to age. Many people do not know where they are, Heavenly Father. They just wander off from their home. We pray, Heavenly Father, a return to their home. We pray, Heavenly Father, for responsible caretakers to be assigned to them. We pray, Heavenly Father, for the resources, Heavenly Father, to take care of our sick, to take care, Heavenly Father, of our elderly, to take care of our children in the name of Jesus Christ. But we want to pray, Heavenly Father, uh, that we uh, misconstrue, Lord God, our priorities, that we take our priorities, Heavenly Father, and rearrange them to place the things of God first, not just to place our entertainment, not just to place our relaxation, uh, but to send the millions of dollars, Heavenly Father, where it is needed to the aid of the assistant living facilities, to the aid of the nursing homes, to the aid of the hospice unit, to the aid of the children orphanages. Lord God, we pray for a reprioritization of our priorities. Many times, Heavenly Father, our financial system is collapsing because we have misplaced priorities, Heavenly Father. We pray uh, that the food, the resources, all of these things, Heavenly Father, are re-diverted and reallocated to where they need to be in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we know we love to travel. We know, Heavenly Father, we love our hobbies. But we pray, Heavenly Father, for a reallocation of our resources to do the things that are pleasing to the Father. Uh, not to do the things that are just pleasing to ourselves, not just to do to the things that are just magnifying ourselves and glorifying ourselves. Heavenly Father, we pray for a reprioritization inside the church, for the world will always be the world. Uh, but we pray, Heavenly Father, for as those who are called by your name, your children who are called by your name, Heavenly Father, that will humble ourselves, turn from our wicked ways, turn, Heavenly Father, from our wicked ambitions, and turn ourselves back over to you, our Heavenly Father, because it is you who has made us and not ourselves. It is you who not only made us, you died for us and not ourselves. It is you that provides for us, Heavenly Father, and not ourselves. We thank you today in the name of Jesus Christ for this revelation, the revelation of Jesus Christ, that you are soon to return. That at any moment, at any time, Heavenly Father, the imminence of your return is apparent and present. We pray uh, that those who are called by your name, the church, Heavenly Father, we are well aware, Heavenly Father, well aware and prepared and alert in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord God, for the family unit against the violence that is inside the family unit. We pray against the violence between the man and the woman uh, because the violence that is between the men and the woman permeates down to the children. And then the violence that is in the household permeates throughout society. We pray for the family unit tonight. Uh, we pray for a return to the family unit tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray against the scourge of racism that continues to permeate throughout the society. We pray against the scourge of racism and colorism in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for the scourge of culturism, Heavenly Father, where people believe that their culture, their race, their tribe is more elite than the other. We repent of these things as the church in the name of Jesus Christ. Again, Heavenly Father, we know the world is the world, but Heavenly Father, those who are called by your name, those of us who confess the name of Jesus Christ, we repent of cultural racism, cultural superiority, gender superiority. Heavenly Father, we repent of these things, these, these things, Heavenly Father, that continues to permeate the church and the children are watching the adults perform these things and they are confused. Uh, they believe that these are the things that are of the Lord, uh, but they are not Heavenly Father. We know those are the things of the Antichrist. Uh, those Heavenly Father are not the spirit of Jesus Christ, uh, the spirit of racism and elitism and culturism and genderism. These are the things of the Antichrist, Heavenly Father. So we pray uh, that we open up the doors and the windows of the church and before we are ready to receive that blessing, Lord God, we pray that we cast out these things in the name of Jesus Christ.
uh, that we cast out these jealous spirits amongst one another, that we cast out the crabs in the barrel mentality, Heavenly Father, that we cast out the elitism of the man and the woman trying to exert and gain power over one another, which is why Cain slew his brother Abel, Heavenly Father, because of jealousy on the inside of the family, Heavenly Father. We pray that we submit ourselves to the Lord, uh, that we submit ourselves to you, to your agenda. And to stop competing within the church, Heavenly Father, for positioning. Stop competing amongst the pastors and the bishops and the, the, the ministers and the choir members and the deacons and the final. Lord, we pray we repent of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that we submit ourselves. We pray that we uh, perform a revival on the inside of each other, Heavenly Father. Uh, before we invite anybody else to church, Heavenly Father, we pray that we submit ourselves to your authority, that we resubmit ourselves to your authority. As a man and a woman, a married couple may have a renewing of their vows. We pray tonight, Heavenly Father, that we renew our submission to you, Heavenly Father, that we renew our submission to you and your will and your way, Heavenly Father. We repent of these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you tonight. We thank you tonight for deliverance as we pray for the family unit tonight. We pray for the family unit tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we re-invite you back into our homes. We open the doors, Lord God. But your word says, behold, I stand at the door knocking. So Heavenly Father, let us answer that door without delay. Let us open up the doors and the windows to let you on the inside, Heavenly Father, to cast out the enemy and their legions in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray today for you, Heavenly Father, to make our home your new dwelling place. I thought you are welcome, Heavenly Father, into our homes. You are welcome, Heavenly Father, into our spirits. Bless your holy name tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we lift up tonight our sick. We lift up to you, Heavenly Father, our shut-in. We lift up to you, Heavenly Father, those who have been written off because of the physician medical report, look grim. Because the biopsies, Heavenly Father, do not look good. But Heavenly Father, we know tonight uh, that if there is anybody... If there is anything, Lord God, any entity, it is only you who can perform the impossible. In fact, you reserve the impossible cases for yourself just to show mankind, Lord God, uh, that by not power and not strength and not our intelligence and our money and our race and skin color, but by your spirit, saith the Lord, uh, that we are healed. By your spirit, saith the Lord, that we can cast out these demons, Heavenly Father. By your spirit, saith the Lord, uh, that we would have the power and the strength to reprioritize our life, to have you at the top. We are not going to rely anymore, Lord God, on this hierarchy of needs for ourselves. We pray that we reorder our life to have you at the top of our needs. For we need you, Heavenly Father, more than we need anything else, more than we need intimacy, more than we need anything else, more than we need the money, more than we need the resources. Heavenly Father, we need you, our Heavenly Father. Uh, for your word says that man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. That comes from the mouth of God. Uh, so we thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for your word. We thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for your word. We bless your holy name tonight for your word. Heavenly Father, we lift all of our sick and shut in up to you. We want to pray, Heavenly Father, against every type of disease there is. We pray up against every stage of cancer uh, that may be contained in the people, Heavenly Father, we pray that we is cast out in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Heavenly Father, against all types of heart disease, heart palpitations, uh, bypass surgeries, double bypass, triple bypass surgeries. We pray, Heavenly Father, for anyone suffering from mental disease and Alzheimer's and schizophrenia, brain tumors, Heavenly Father, aneurysms, bone disease, Heavenly Father, anyone suffering from strokes and seizures, anyone suffering from cardiac arrest, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, for respiratory, for breathing. We pray that those who are having trouble breathing, Lord, that their lungs and wind capacity, Lord God, are open and expanded by the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray against depression and anxiety, where the enemy is constantly tap dancing and playing on our heads that because we have not done all the things that we want down here on earth, that somehow our life is a failure. Somehow we, we have not acquired and bought everything down here is to buy and to own that somehow our life is a failure. For we serve the master. We serve the master that has a cattle on a thousand hills, Heavenly Father. We serve, Heavenly Father, not the owner of the bank. We serve, Heavenly Father, the creator of the universe, the creator of existence himself. We thank you, Heavenly Father, for being your children. 
Uh, we thank you, Heavenly Father, for our heavenly inheritance. But Heavenly Father, many are jockeying for position down here to try to reserve billions of dollars for them in their legacies. Well, Heavenly Father, they can go do what they do because we know we have a spiritual legacy. We have a spiritual inheritance uh, that shall not, Heavenly Father, be stopped by the things of this earth because it was not designed by the things of the people of this earth. In fact, it was not even designed by us. It was designed by you, Heavenly Father. But you said in your word, it is your desire, Heavenly Father, that none shall pass. It is you, Heavenly Father, uh, that decides who enters the kingdom and who doesn't. It is your good pleasure, Heavenly Father, uh, to give the kingdom to us according to your son, Jesus Christ. So we assemble here tonight, Heavenly Father, to give you full praise and glory and admiration for being the Lord our God, because beside you, Lord Jesus, there is no other. Heavenly Father, we pray tonight over the digestive systems, anyone having problems with their digestive systems, their immune systems, those who are in need of a rebalancing of their endocrine system. Lord God, we pray for those who are having muscular system issues with their ligaments and tendons and cartilage. We pray for healing in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for healing over the nervous system. Anyone with tremors and nervousness, anyone, Heavenly Father, that is suffering from bad nerves, we pray a healing in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray that those nerves are strengthened spiritually in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for anybody tonight uh, that is blind, that cannot see physically, uh, anyone that is need a healing of their ears, anyone, Heavenly Father, that has nose issues and smelling, anyone that cannot feed themselves with their mouth, anyone with skin diseases, leprosy, any sort of skin, flesh eating bacteria, anyone with feet and hands issues where they're not able to use their hands and feet due to arthritis, osteoporosis, rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, or any other condition, we pray that your holy healing hands descend upon their hands, descend upon their feet to heal them, Heavenly Father, in if any and all infirmities in the name of Jesus Christ. We decree and declare tonight a healing a miraculous healing, one for which the doctors have never seen before in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up to you tonight, Apostle Dyntrum Jones. We pray for her, her, her husband, Pastor Mac Jones, their children and grandchildren. We pray for the entire Bethel Family Worship Center. We pray tonight, Heavenly Father, for them. We want to lift up Aunt Missionary Lily Stembridge in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to lift up Auntie Linda in the name of Jesus Christ, and Lakia Pettit's in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing Auntie Linda. We thank you for restoring Auntie Linda in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we lift up Casey Roberts tonight. We pray for Minister Latrina Cope, Talia, Mary, and family. Heavenly Father, we lift up Shamia Powell, Desiree Davis, Paralyn Minor, the Spence and Singleton family. We want to thank you for healing Brother Willie Spence of his procedure. We thank you for strengthening him and healing him in his procedure in Jesus' name. Lord God, we want to pray for Taisha Williams, Lord. We want to pray for the family of Elder Marty Swain. We thank you for keeping them. We pray for the Wade family tonight. We want to pray for Sister Sheila Wallace, Lord God. We pray and lift up Scott Bender and Jeanette Smith. We pray for Loyalty Johnson tonight, Carolyn Carter, Miss Debbie Rock, Minister Eliza Collins. We thank you for healing and restoring Minister Eliza Collins and her family and household in Jesus' name. We pray for Joe and Joan Green in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you for healing their mind. We thank you for healing the households. We thank you for covering them, Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to lift up patience and faith, justice, price, joy, Kelby, Marcus, and Ricardo. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for healing, Sister Patience, Lord God. We pray for her and her procedure this week. We pray, Lord God, for a restoration, a radical rescue in the name of Jesus Christ, a rapid recovery period in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Pickens family, the Ross family, the Evans, the Richardsons, the Grays, the Collins, the Ingrams, the Cronshaws, the Olivers, the Todds, the Frambros. We pray for the Clarks. We pray for the Kyles. We pray for the Grants and the Wilson, the Cheese and the Williams family in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for all of our family units, tribes, peoples, tongues, 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Auntie Emma Burns. We want to thank you for healing and restoring Auntie Emma Burns. We thank you for healing Uncle Eddie and Uncle Johnny in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for uh, Grandmother Irene tonight. We want to thank you for healing Grandmother Irene tonight. We thank you for strengthening her in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for Elder Anne and family and friend Ava. Lord God, we thank you for healing. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Elder Wanda Edmondson, Lord God. We want to thank you for delivering Elder Gwen Weston in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for Pastor Dorothy Gardner, her, her husband, her household, and her ministry, the Abba House of Prayer, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for the Bryant family, uh, Pastor Bryant and family. We pray for Pastor Joe Webb and family and congregation. We pray for Bishop McNeese, uh, his family and congregation. We thank you for healing Leap Ministries, Lord God, covering Leap Ministries in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for Minister Hector and Amanda Hernandez. Lord God, we pray for Elder Ralph and Gina Laborde. Uh, and we pray for Elder Gina's mother, Diana, in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we pray for Marlene Trim, Camilla Trim, Minister Landy Phillips, Minister Wilcox and family. We pray for Minister Tia and Renee Pope, we pray for Brother Bernard Childs and family. We pray, Lord God, for Mia and Cornelius Goldwire. We pray for them and their family. We pray for Minister Chantel Graham in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for Kevin. As he grows, he is in constant need of prayer. We keep him before you in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we want to pray, Lord God, for Sister Greta Sims and her family. We pray for uh, Melissa Velo and her family. Lord God, we pray for Becky McCall, her nephew, her nieces, and her family. Lord God, we pray for the Grisanti family tonight. We pray for them in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for Lisa, Miss Debbie Rock's cousin. We pray for Miss Malay's grandma, Jimmy Marie Lewis. Heavenly Father, we pray for her in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for Jimmy Marie Lewis, Lord God. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Larry Gatskin, uh, Mr. Jim's cousin. We lift up and pray for salvation for Robert. Anyone, Heavenly Father, who is in attendance tonight, anyone that is suffering on that fence, Lord, uh, they are deciding whether or not they want to believe. Heavenly Father, we pray that they jump off the fence and onto the ark in the name of Jesus Christ, because we know that you are soon to return in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for Willie King, Lord God. We pray for deliverance and healing for Willie King. We pray, Heavenly Father, for Larry Fobbs in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we want to pray tonight, Heavenly Father, for Eastside Elementary, Little Truett. We pray for Ella, every, every elementary school, every middle school, every high school, every college institution of higher learning in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray over every trade school, every private school, every parochial school, every charter school, anywhere, Heavenly Father, where people are gathering together in mass for education purposes. We pray that they are protected, protected by the name that is above every name the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray tonight, Lord God, for the Williamson family. We pray for the Nick Lewis family. We pray for Ebony Blackwood and her household. We pray for Tanya Richardson and her household. Heavenly Father, we pray for Chris uh, as we thank you for delivering him from the hospital. Lord God, we pray for Patrice and Sam Walker, their household, children and grandchildren. We pray covering and healing for them. We pray for Mr. Lewis tonight. We pray for Joshua tonight. We thank you for healing Joshua tonight. Heavenly Father, we pray for the Alexia family, Lord God. We pray for Chantero and her pregnancy. We pray for Priscilla Dodwell. We want to thank you for healing Miss Priscilla Dodwell in the name of Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for Herman Sally and family. We pray for Domingo and Tia, Lord God. We pray for Odia Sims, Lord God. We want to pray for Edwin Harris and family. We pray for Cousin Frederick. We thank you for healing Cousin Frederick, Lord God, regardless of what uh, this disease, Heavenly Father, is, Lord, we know that you are a healer. Uh, we know, Heavenly Father, that you have the last say. We pray for that miracle tonight. We pray for that miracle tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray that when the physicians look at the next medical report, the next biopsy, the next exam, we pray that they are confounded with the progress. We pray, Heavenly Father, for a miracle in the name of Jesus Christ, the likes of which we have never seen before. Glory to your holy name. Heavenly Father, we want to pray for baby Oliver. We thank you for healing baby Oliver in any and all of these things on his body in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray for baby Oliver and his family, Lord God. We pray, Heavenly Father, for all of our household to include our animals, Heavenly Father, our pets, our livestock, our crops and fresh produce, anything that we are growing by our hand that you have given us the ability to do. We pray for healing and protection. In the name of Jesus Christ, 
For your word says, blessed are we going in and blessed are we are going out in your holy name. We pray for everyone tonight that is standing in the need of prayer and a miracle by the sound of my voice. We pray tonight, Heavenly Father, they are healed by faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to your holy name tonight. Bless your almighty name tonight. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are in bereavement and mourning. We pray, Heavenly Father, that those who are grieving the loss of their loved one, we pray as they grieve, Lord God. We pray, Heavenly Father, that they receive the revelation, Lord, that you and you alone are in control. You and you alone, Heavenly Father, have the keys to life and death. It is you, Heavenly Father, that has designated a time for everybody. But Lord God, we want to pray for comfort tonight for them. We want to pray a healing for them tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, we pray for those who have special needs. We pray for those who are not able to feed themselves, provide for themselves. We pray for their caregivers. We pray, Heavenly Father, for healing and deliverance for them in Jesus' name. We pray for the poor. We pray for the poor and the homeless tonight. Those that do not have a place to lie or heal. Those that do not have food, Heavenly Father. We pray, Heavenly Father, that they find the resources that they need, that those resources find them in Jesus' name. We know, Heavenly Father, you provide for all of us. We know that you provide even for the sparrows, Lord God. And how much more will you provide for each of us in Jesus' name? So we thank you tonight, Lord. We thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for this gathering. We thank you tonight, Heavenly Father, for your prayer. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, in the name of the Son, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, and amen. Thank you, brothers and sisters, for joining us tonight for intercessory prayer. Please continue to pray without ceasing. In this day and age we are in, now is not the time to come down off the post. Now is not the time to stop praying, brothers and sisters. In fact, we need to wrap up our prayers as many things are afoot in this land today. Please continue to join us throughout the week. Not only on Tuesday nights at 8 p.m. for intercessory prayer, but Thursday nights at 8 p.m. for Bible study and Sunday mornings at 7 a.m. and 11.30 a.m. for the morning word of God. Please follow us on Facebook and YouTube for additional biblical and word of God content. I am Minister John Pickens, and I would like to thank all of you for joining me tonight with Revelational Ministries. All of you have a very blessed night and a blessed rest of the week. Amen.